I always tell people there's two worlds. The streets is a different world. In the city of Newark, you know, carjackings and murders, and sometimes I wake up and it's like, how much of a difference am I really making? Denial, Omar! Stop ball, stop ball! I want to win a state championship too, but I want people to go to college. I don't just want to win and ain't nobody going to college. What's the for? People don't understand. If you don't have a plan, the streets have a plan out there for you. We went to the court, and they didn't even have him in the system. So it's like he was never arrested. Right. And then a month from now, he'll have a warrant. Exactly, for not showing up to court. I know the story, because I was a street kid. But I was given second chances, and I think people deserve a second chance, because not everybody's bad, man. Some people just make bad decisions. Bulls guard Jay Williams has been involved in a motorcycle accident. The second player taken in the draft was transported to the hospital in critical condition. These uh, injuries could definitely change his career permanently. For a long time, I was a victim to my circumstance. Woe is me, Jay with the accident that changed my life. But there was a moment where I took that circumstance and I let it empower me. Because I want to make change, not just in myself, but within other people. Y'all need to come together, man. Y'all play like this, y'all need to play like this. Y'all will keep having this feeling if y'all keep playing like this. I want this experience to change lives. You read that letter I wrote to you, right? Yeah, I read it. Nobody really said nothing like that to me before. It's my job to keep pushing you step by step. Oh, it's not over. Kareem's knees touch. For so long in my life, I let my past define who I was. But if I'm too focused on what was, I'll never focus on what's going to come. Hey, guys at home, uh, I got somebody that wants to say what's up to you. Hold on. Yo, what's up, y'all? Every experience in life is a teacher. My dad, he's in jail. Sometimes I cry at night because he's not here. In these last few months, I've probably been in like 10 different houses. People want power and money. They try to kill each other for it. We just found out that Jahad's father passed away. Yeah, right, man. Yeah. Right. At the end of the day, you guys got an unbelievable mentor, and I want you to learn from everything that you've done. That you're going to be great. You don't know how great you are, you're held prisoner to your circumstances. There was a moment where I took my circumstance and I let it empower me. I said, no longer why me, it became why not me. And that's what I want to imprint on these kids. They were built for these type of moments. That's where it all started, the, the 1967 riots. They pulled over a cab driver up on 16th Avenue. Allegedly, they beat him up, and you know, a large crowd thought the cab driver died. They took him out the back and took him to the hospital. But, you know, the people thought he died, so they started throwing rocks and bottles at the police. And then they went over to uh, Springfield Avenue, where the majority of the businesses were. They started torturing all the businesses. But it was a build-up to that. I mean, I think poverty overrides all of the crime, you know, and that's why most crime is committed, because people really don't have anything. I call the Newark riots a rebellion because that's exactly what I think it was. It was rebelling not just the arrest of John Smith, but the conditions that people were living in in the city. Politicians were corrupt. The school system was not sufficiently funded. Police brutality was legendary. There were no jobs here. There was no opportunity. In Newark, it exploded. Yeah, yeah. The first window next to that door. I was 
was born in Brooklyn, lived in Newark for almost 50 years. And this is the end. I'm through. Through with Newark, because Newark is bad. Can I say something? Listen, all we want is an equal right. That's all we're asking for. And as long as they keep this up, we're going to burn the white out. You know, a rise lasted a few days. Some people died, people got arrested. But this is where it started at, right here in 1967 in June. Since that time, Newark has been trying to endure and transcend difficult times. Buildings that were burnt out, whole communities that were devastated and, and had not been repaired. I'm still building in areas that were abandoned for 50 years. You know, the city gives people their personality, gave them their grit, their sense of determination. All of those things, you know, associated with the idea of I'm from the bricks, you know, brick city. Wow. We try to take what's bad and stand on top of it. And we call it enduring, or we call it, or we persevered. But the reality is, you've been affected by that. And there's some real emotional and psychological distress that you're under because of these situations. Um, this is where I grew up. This actually used to be projects. So this was like a big square with about 12 to 15 buildings with about 5,000 people living in this, this one little area. And you knew like everybody, you know. Hey, what's up, bro? How you? I'm all right. What's going on? All right. It was fun, man. And I always said if, if they had the project still up, I probably would live in it. I just missed the love and the togetherness from the projects. And I think when they tore the projects down, it broke a lot of unity. Poverty has its bad side, but there's also a rich culture that comes from poverty. Most of the guys that moved on the block were from the same project. And some guys were throwing parties. My friend Red, he had a rapper living with him. And of course, if you got Biz Markie and Cool V, you're going to get people. The following was big. So it was like, we have to come up with a name to put on some t-shirts and get people to know it's us. My friend was like, the police call us animals. Why don't we just call ourselves the zoo crew? Because we was caged in, you know, locked in your, your, your ghetto environment. We would have rappers come to the parties, like Queen Latifah, Tretch from Naughty by Nature. It was like, oh yeah, yeah, zoo crew, we going to that party because it's safe, everybody having fun. Man, we fed the whole community, man. It was, it was beautiful, man. I miss those days. I really do. I think some people in the community thought they were entrepreneurs and philanthropists who were giving back to the community because they would do things for the community. But the problem is, you know, where are they getting the money to do that? They were a criminal enterprise. We cared about the community, but we did things that we shouldn't have been doing. This is the driveway where we hung and did our business. I used to put my stash on this wall right here. One time I got chased. Police were right there, but I made it, I made it to the house. They didn't even know it was me. I got a phone call 6 in the morning, and they saying they rounding up members of the zoo crew. And I went and sat in the living room. I said, damn, it's over. Like, I'm going to jail. This is it. And I just waited for them to kick the door in. It never happened. When stuff like that happened, you start to reflect. Do you really want to live this life? After that, I was like, that's it. I can't do this anymore. Go, 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 go. So I started to bring kids in through basketball. A lot of people don't understand some of the things that these kids go through, but I know how it is out there. Everybody can survive out there. He's getting the pressure. He's getting the pressure. Get deep. Get deep. Let's go, baseline, let's go. Smallest the toes. Now, I've lost a lot of kids, man. The numbers of former players that have been killed, we're at about 19 right now in the last 21 years. And, and, and the crazy part is, the crazy part is, like, it started 
within the last 10 years. And then all of a sudden, it's like every six months, somebody is getting killed. And it was like, it was tough, man. And kids grow up and think that's the norm. Quan Quan brother in jail, real brother in jail, the young brother in jail, your hot brother in and out of jail. And it's crazy. And you got to try to keep all that together to, to, to get your season the way you want it to be. It's 37 kids, man. We got 15 spots. That's all I'm going to tell you. I don't care what grade you're in. If you one of the top 15, you will be on the team. If you're a senior and a freshman is the same caliber as you, you're getting cut. My expectation for this team is win the states. It is time for us to win. We haven't won since 2011. I think it's time. Uh, baseline, three lines. On a hop, on a hop. I think another expectation is more academic. We just have an awesome set of young men graduating this year, and the expectations are just end the year with a bang. Let's go, D.N. Oh, Jay's on clean. I'm a bachelor of I would rather bypass tryouts. To understand the game, you have to play. I mean, practice is great, but game is to teach it because it's live. Pay attention, man, pay attention. We have a lot of talented kids in the city of Newark. You know, sports is a way to get that free education and it, take, it could take you anywhere. The end, he's one of those kids you root for. We always say he's the best player in Newark and he wants to go to school. So that's the easy part right there, that he wants to go. First five on defense. I would love to see all my kids go to college, but some of the kids, they just not good enough to play college basketball. Don't use your head. Take care of the ball, this varsity. Go academically. Everybody not going for basketball. You're coming. Coming, oh. lad. That's my block. That's my block. Um. Still got 37, ain't nobody leave yet. <laughs> <laughs> Look like them same 12 that played last year don't really want their spot. So we here tomorrow. Come to school. You can't try out if you don't come to school. School is fun. We love Central, right? Yeah. We love Central, right? Yeah. I graduated from Central, man. I love Central. I'm a blue devil. It's a dream. I'm coaching the school I played at. You could be standing here one day, who knows? Anything can happen, man. If you don't think you're good enough, then stay home tomorrow. If you think you got a shot, show up, man. Don't be nervous, man. I see you over there. That... Oh, yeah. Let me just put him on the baseline. All right. Yo! I'll call your name. You stay until 3 o'clock. If I don't call you, don't take it personal. It's just it wasn't your time. So, um, uh, DJ, go to half court. <laughs> Kareem Davis. Kwan <laughs> Kwan. Adi. Zari, Isaiah. The cutting part is, is tough, man. I, I hate it. I don't like cutting kids because they want to be a part of something because they're coming out. Look, we trying to build a team. Wow. Got to cut them. You see some of the kids standing there, like, waiting to see if their name going to get called. And, you know, you see some of the faces of these kids, and it's like, damn. Dave. Solomon. Good. Man, I gave all I got. I'm just, I'm just so empty now. Like, I feel like I have nothing. Child Phil. Hey, clap it up for yourselves, man. Cause everybody ain't make it. Be like that sometime. Now, how many seniors we got? Eight. 
What year y'all came in high school? 14. 2014. That's the last thing we won. That was when y'all came in here. <laughs> so leave something in here so you can walk in here and say, yeah, I did that. All right? And when you're dealing with kids, you got to talk to them and try to help them and guide them through it. And, you know, that's where I come in at, because I understand. Father don't come around, mom wasn't around. Like, I understand. Your mother raised you, my mother raised me. Like, I could relate to y'all. Like, I know the story. I mean, I know the struggle. But it's life, man. It's life. That's why I stay on Shaquan Clark so much, because I see his, I see his potential. Not basketball potential. I see his street potential, because he has the potential to be in the street. My brother called me yesterday morning and said they came and got Shaquan. And I said, well, why? They said, because he was in a fight and apparently the person who they were fighting only knew Shaquan, so they named Shaquan's name and said that he stole their cell phone. Now, Shaquan called me from the jail yesterday and I asked him, I said, you know I'm disappointed. And he said, yes. He said, but I did not take a cell phone. I wouldn't even take this fight serious because they're laughing and it didn't seem like anyone really fought anyone. So I don't know what's going to happen. So my sister gave me temporary rights over Shaquan. So what I'm going to do is go down there and plead with the judge to release him in my custody. His coach said that he'll get out. And maybe he's more familiar with this kind of situation. I'm not. This is East Orange. I just, when I moved here two years ago, I moved from North. That's when Shaquan was with me full time because the school was right down the street from where I lived at. But because of the area, I had to get my kids out of there. I'm gonna say this. Sometimes you just adapt to your situation. The older brother's incarcerated. And I think Shaquan is adapting to what he's used to seeing his older brother do. All right. I got to call your mother. Hey, little bro, you better do OG right. He's a good coach. I played for OG for years. He's all right. I went to sleep early. Shaquan's a sweetheart. I just think he's around the wrong people sometimes. And Unfortunately, he gets influenced by what they're doing. Better be focused, boy. Your goal is to focus in school and go to college and get your mother out that hood. That was my brother right there. Oh, wow. In and out, Shaquan. You know Brett like to talk. No, man, it's my little nephew. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm getting my clothes so I can go to my aunt's house. That's why I usually stay, but she don't want me to get in no more trouble, so she's just gonna come take me with her. I don't even know what's going on. If I knew what's going on, I made it good to help them, but can't help them if I don't know what's going on. I got put at the wrong place at the wrong time. It happens, it happens like that, man. Gotta so keep better people around you. Word up. Nork gets transformation stories because we understand that sometimes in a society to survive, people make bad decisions. Uh, and I'm not talking about something extremely dangerous and, and borderline criminal. I'm just talking about that maturity stuff that gets us in situations. And so I also want to create an environment where people feel they are safe. I think that that's why sports or basketball is important. What are we giving our kids? to choose something different over the other. All right, bro, I'll see you later. All right, y'all, y'all be easy, y'all be easy. Be easy. All right, love you. All right, y'all. I do think you have to hold people accountable. If they think that there are no consequences, big trouble. But if there's only consequences and there's no resiliency, kids gonna say, I'm just gonna give up. What's gonna happen? You're gonna get rid of me anyway, right? You're going to punish me anyway. So I'm gonna give you something for you to punish me for, as opposed to saying, look, you made a bad decision, but you're in a place of love. You know, you gotta give some love back too. I'm back. Hi, baby. 
Yeah, I'm at, I'm at my aunt house. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Can I speak to him? Oh, my, hey, OJ, my aunt wants to speak to you real fast. The judge said he's only allowed to go to school, go to basketball practice if he's with uh -huh. you, but then uh -huh. he has to come back here because somebody's gonna come here and sign, he has to sign a form. The reason why they gotta come here is to make sure he's not outside in the streets. That's what oh, they... Oh, okay. Okay. All right, hold on. All right, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, what you doing now? I'm in the store. I ain't doing nothing. I'm in the store for the rest of the day. All right, all right, all right. You don't miss me? <laughs> <laughs> you're a funny guy, man. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> all right, yo. All right, see you on Monday. All right. I'll fight for these kids, man. I mean, we got to fix these problems ourselves. And if we can't come together collectively, it's going to continue to be the way it is. We sitting here waiting for Superman. He not coming. <laughs> He's not coming. Superman is not coming. I would love to see him fly in and flex his muscles, but it's not happening. Say hello. Say hello, D. You don't want to say hello? You camera shy? Okay. All right. Who is that? Denzel Washington. He's a stud. Got him from uh, a rescue. Camera shy. Your name is Denzel Washington. You're supposed to be good on camera. Let's go. Let's get it. Anxiety level's pretty high right now, considering that I have no idea what the hell I'm walking into. But it's kind of, it's kind of cool too, in the same breath. Yeah, I've been thinking about coaching for a while now, and this opportunity came across my plate to work with Coach McCray over at Central High School. I don't know anything about these kids or their background. I, I don't know what coach has in store, so I just want to make sure that I, I get in where I fit in with him first. So I think the relationship that we have is the most important. How you doing, man? What's up, man? Jay? Doing D. good? What's your name? D. Nice to meet you, D. Pleasure. Coach. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. How you been? You been good? Yeah, I'm hanging in there. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm doing all right. I'm hanging in there. Right. I'm a little bit tired, but the gym finds a way to revive me. <laughs> you know what I mean? What you tired? I'm grinding. <laughs> I'm grinding. Actually, I love what you're doing. Oh, uh, thank you, man. I'm trying to, you know, save lives, man. That's it, man. Somebody did it for me when I was a kid, so, you know, it took me a minute to get it together, so now I'm, you know, that's what I'm doing in the community. So, why, I want to ask you, what made you, why coaching? Why coaching? I love, I love the game, man. I love, you know, I played, um, you know, I just, I love the kids. Like, you know, it's a little different with the inner city kids because they got so many, other things going on in their life. So I got a good bunch of guys, and we try to build a family atmosphere. So if I live over here and you live over there, that stuff doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, you play for me, yeah. and we're all in this program, so this is, we're supposed to interact with each other, not worrying about what other people are saying. You got any, uh, any extracurricular stuff going on with any of the kids? Like, as far like as... As far as kids doing anything that they shouldn't be doing? Oh, or... yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, um, actually just got a kid just got out of youth house. Um, Jaquan Clark. He got a little issues in the streets with the neighborhood he lives. Last year, he got in a stolen car. Police chased the van. They crashed five kids. He got stuck in the van. He couldn't get out. He tore his femur bone. So he missed the whole season. He's still not 100%. You can tell he doesn't have that, that lift, lift anymore. Yeah. So this is, hey, Miss Brown, you can come in. This is your school. Hi, Miss Brown. <laughs> I am Jay. How you doing, Sean it, A. Brown? It, it's nice a pleasure to meet you, Miss Brown. Thank most you definitely. so much for what you guys are doing. No, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Look, <laughs> look, for me, I just love Hoop. I get a chance to work with him <laughs> and get a chance to, you know, know these kids and mm -hmm. be a, hopefully, you know, make a difference in a small way. That's right. Well, we have yeah. a lot of young people you can make a difference with. I know that's with. right. That. I know so that's we need right. support always. I mean, it takes a village. Can I just tell you, I'm just smiling at you because my mother worked for over 35 years to finally become a vice principal. Wow. And um, to see you walk in the door like that, <laughs> I might have to take a picture of you and send it to her. Because oh. you, she will go on a tangent like, 
It's about time. We got we got some color running the whole thing. Like she will be big on that. So, so I'm with you. I will. I got you. Nice to Wait, meet you. It was a pleasure to meet Anything you, too. Anything you need, you just let us know. Okay. We need, we need support. Okay. Got well, I got the same you. vision, same heart for young people. I'm I sure. will be around. Like as long as Coach allows me to stay around. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Damn. Hit me that, David. Let's go, man. Oh, bring it in a little bit, man. I don't know how many of y'all are familiar with, with Jay Williams. Uh, he from New Jersey. Played at Duke, national championship with Duke, right? Yeah, we got one. We snuck one. <laughs> snuck one in. National champion right here. So he's going to come in. He's going to help out with us coaching. Give me y'all a little, some of his knowledge that he know about the game, some of the things he did when he played. You want to speak to him for a yeah, few? Yeah, sure. Look, I'm going to be quick, man. I, I have a passion for this game. My rookie year, we were playing against the Lakers, OK? They just won multiple championships. I'm a rookie for the Bulls. I'm like, yo, I want to win this game more than anything. I walk into the gym. I sit down to put my sneakers on. Who do I see working out? I see Kobe Bryant working out the other end of the court, like busting his ass working out, like grinding working his ass out. So I put in the time, and guess who's still working out at the same pace he was working out when I first walked in? It was Kobe. We play in a game, Kobe dropped like 40 plus on us. So I found him after the game, I'm like, yo, why did you stay and work out for as long as you did? He's like, because I saw you walk in the gym. <laughs> and I wanted you to know that no matter how hard you worked, I was willing to outwork you, and that made me better. Right? So that's the mentality you need to go to the next level. This is a chance for me to learn and for all of us to learn together. So thank you for having me. I Thanks appreciate it. I, appreciate I got the first drill. You, you like, yeah, you I get the first drill? Yeah. I just want one drill today. That's all. Can everybody grab a ball? All we're going to do is we're doing ball handling. We're just getting warmed up. All we got is 13 minutes. All right? Can you start that clock? Here we go. Stop the ball. As hard as you can. Above your head. Only fingertips, keep going. Front of your face, waist, knees. Hey, if you feel your forearms starting to burn, that's a good thing. Ankles, around your waist, faster. Look at my speed, look at yours. Around your head. Come on, Quan Quan. I know you're behind me, I'm watching you. Waist, keep going, keep going. Knees, yeah, lo love it, learn a lot, keep going, keep going. We only have a minute and a half in. Ankles, feel that burn, boy, yeah, it should hurt. Pound the ball with your right hand through the ground. Don't let me get the ball. Protect the ball. Protect the ball. Come on, come on. Go. Protect the ball. Protect it. Don't let me get through. Blow fast like this. Let's come go. On. Come on. Let's get it. Pound it. Pound it. It's okay for it to burn. Pound it. Left hand. Fingertips. Got it. Keep going. Keep going. Cross. Come on, bro. Let's go. Keep going. Let's go. Behind back. Snap it. Keep going. Take it right. This is a warm up. Right hand. Left hand. Head up, head up, head up, head up. Spider, let's go. Tap, 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 tap. Speed it up, go faster. Go faster. Let's get it. It's a warm up. Stop, stop. Ball move your head. I know that you are mentally weak because you are not in the conditioning that you need to be in. It's time for me to put my foot even more on the gas. I'm going to run you into the ground. Last minute, everybody pay attention. Between the legs. Figure eight, six, six. One minute. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go. Let's go. Work, work, work. That's your move right there. Come on, Heidi. Yeah, yeah, D, let's go. Let's get it. Finish strong. Keep going. Keep going. Five, four. Let's go. Three. Raise. Finish. Two. Finish. Yo, bring it in real quick. That's all. I'm done. Hey, hey, by the way, by the way, you feel the way you're breathing right now? That's a warm up. Let's go, baseline, man. Baseline. Sincere don't want to take his do-rag off in school. Solomon don't want to take his hood off. Man, you got to pay like you weigh. Told y'all, man. I don't want to walk down the hall and coach, can I talk to you about your player? I don't want to hear that stuff, man. We talking about a do-rag and a hood. That's what we talking about. Not an A and a B. A do-rag and a hood. That's why we run it. We're in again. Come on, Zod. Come on, man. Run this out. Run it out. Run it out. I don't get tired of running these shits. Wearing again. Come on, man. Come on. on. Do, do rag and a hoodie, huh? In class, though. In class. All we gotta do is take this shit off, man. Mm -hmm. It make things so difficult. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Load him up. 
Come on, let's go. Find another gear. Subs, man, you gotta play the whole fourth quarter. No sub, no timeout. I'm on knee. It's an right now. Stay with Hottie. Stay with him. Stay on his ass. Come on, Quan Quan. You right there, QQ. You right there, QQ. You're almost there. Come on. Yeah, it's alright. Solomon, you can wear your hoodie at work. So if you don't take it off of them, what you think they're gonna do? They're gonna fire you. Come on, man, last one, run it out. Get it, Brill. Get it, Hottie. Get him, all Hottie, you got somebody on you now. Get it, Brill. Nah, Brill, nah, 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 come on, Brill. Come on, okay. Come on, Quan Quan, come let's on, go, baby. man, let's go. Don't give up, man. Good work, Hottie, good work. That's why he on the court. He play defense, he hustle. Come on, come on Quan Quan. Don't give up, don't give up. Yo, I'll take that. I like the effort. I like the effort. I can't breathe. Come on, man. We got, you want to win, you got to work, man. Yo, I don't want to hear from no teachers, man. I don't want to hear about no hoodie and no damn do-rag. So obey the rules. It's not hard, man. It's not hard. Wait, who got a... When, when we got that scrimmage? Next week. Because scrimmage next week. Scrimmage next week. Next week. You miss baby girl? Miss her. She said I did. She said I did something to her, but I don't know what I did. She wouldn't tell you what I did. It always be like that. It be like that all the time. People don't understand the community, like the the relationship you have with these kids. Like you see them before they become the monster everybody calls them. They like they like I'm like the bad. I'm like the bad boy of the team. Good boy, boy. You know, I have a kid on my team right now, uh, Shaquan Clark. He he stays with the knot because he doesn't want to go where the mother lives because it's not a safe area from the area he came from. So he lived in a certain area, and now his mom moved to another part of Newark, and he doesn't feel safe going back and forth from that neighborhood. Yo. Yo. We got to understand the problem before we could, like, say, no, nah, just lock them all up. No, nah, they don't all need to be in jail, man. They got real issues that we not tackling. Like, we worrying about development. Like, that's all great, but what about the, the community that's underdeveloped? Like, what are these kids? They got to go somewhere else to see nice things. I can't walk out my door and see a nice park. Like, I got to go another part of town. And it, it's crazy, man. These, people, these kids think this is normal, but it's not. Some neighborhoods are labeled as a gang neighborhood, so you may not even be a gang member, but because you live in that neighborhood, you're a target just like the guys that hang in the neighborhood. I always tell people there's two worlds, you know. It's, it's your world and somebody else's world. Like, people don't understand that the streets is a different world. Yeah, gang shit. I love Kwan Kwan because I love kids like that. I love street kids, man, because I was a street kid. Like, I, I just love him. I can't, I can't say nothing bad about him, you know, he hang, the, the, just the people he hang around. But as a kid, if you take him out of that element, he's great. Yeah, I better come to the first home game. Yeah, man, you better turn up. Yeah, this is for Central, right? Come on, she's coming. I want at least 30, 35 buckets. And I want like four three-pointers. <laughs> we all know that he talented and he could possibly make it. So we try to keep him away from this type of stuff. You know? So you got, you got a lot of talent. You got a lot of talent. Yeah. Yeah. On these streets, what y'all can't do. Y'all got to y'all got a way out. You know what I mean? Stick with it. You work hard, yeah, it'll, it'll work out. Break the cycle. Nice. Nice. Future NBA right there. Don't take them in my room, neither. Get us up out of here. <laughs> Get us up out of here. Take us out of here. The mother told you they locked me out. Yes. This is some BS. Beat the odds. That's all I'm going to say to you. Make this your last mistake. Like, you got to get up from it and do what you got to do. You know, I've lost brothers, a boyfriend, 
I done lost cousins. I done lost a lot to the streets. And not saying that you gotta get rid of your friends, but it's like, they might not have the same intentions for you that you have for yourself. Like, if they not with what your, your accord is, then they gotta go. Well, my mother told me the same thing. I'm trying to tell you. You think that they care about, oh, well, if Quan get in trouble, they don't care. Because if they cared, they would keep you out of the, the crap that they got going on. And they would tell you, no, Quan, go to basketball practice. No, get out of here. You know what I'm saying? No, they don't egg you on to do stupidness. Like, mm. uncool. Oh. That's it. If they ain't for you, they against you. That's it. That's all. Yes, let's get it. Get us out of here. Put me in a big house. <laughs> Put me in a big house. That's right. Good afternoon, Central Lights, and these are your afternoon announcements. Keep in mind, students, you must be in full uniform on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Thursdays and Fridays is a polo shirt and khaki pants. The school store is open. Get, the, get, the, get your deli, man. Give me your deli. Give, get, no, give me the deli, man. Tyler just got taken the deli. Stay in here, man. Tell the and them I said come in here. Be too generous. Yeah, these are dailies, um, student report. They give it to each teacher and each class, and uh, the teacher signs it at the end of the class to let us know what they was doing in class that day. Sometimes they write plan on their phone, sometimes they write went to sleep. Uh, if it's something negative, we, we punish the whole team for it. If they don't bring one, they can't practice. That means they probably wasn't in school. Disrespectful. Dave, late again, first period. Um, First of all, Dave, Quan Quan, Tariq, y'all GPAs is terrible, man. You eligible to play, but your GPA terrible, man. He went home. I think so. Yeah, that he's mad early. You said he wasn't playing today. Who said they ain't playing? Where he, he go? Said, I don't know. He, I, he's about to, he was crying earlier. I don't know. For, I don't know why he wanted to talk to him. Some people don't think stuff be real until it happened to him. Hottie can't play, because Hottie ain't eligible. Because they checked everybody grades today. He don't have enough credits. Now Hottie crying, because he can't play. We see the same stuff every year, man. People graduate, go to jail. People graduate, they get killed. Some graduate and go to college, I mean, but we got more failures than successes. Do you understand how they recruit players? They put names on the board. We need a point guard next year. Call the school. Hey, how is Shaquan Clark doing? Oh, well, his GPA is 1.2. We're going to cross Shaquan Clark off. It's about money, man. Don't nobody parents ain't got no money to pay for college. Mine didn't. My senior year, got MVP on Central 10. You know where I went? Junior college, because I ain't do no work. Could have played D1, I ain't got no grades. So I already know I've been there. That's why I be on y'all. I don't want you to go that way. If you got to go that way, go that way. But you don't have to go that way. I want to win a state championship too, but I want people to go to college. I don't just want to win and ain't nobody going to college. What, what's it for? So that's why he was crying. He didn't want to tell you. He can practice, he can come to the games, he can go to study hall, he can do everything y'all do, but he can't play. So y'all got to encourage him now. Y'all got to be his inspiration. Howdy, what's good, man? What, what, what classes you fell in? You need some help? You see him, yo, let's go to study hall, man. He in there doing nothing. Yo, come on, bro, you got to do some work, man. We need you for February. That's when it get thick, county, states. That's when it get thick. Y'all got to trust each other, man. You got to encourage each other, too, man. But I think we got a team where everybody can play. Come on, bro. We can't do that, man. Straight away. Get the pass. Oh, okay. Pass. You about to do something different. There's some talent, you know? Their shooting's getting a little better. Their defense is getting a little better. I can see there's the wheels starting to spin. When they go against Orange, it's going to be a good competitive game. They're going to have to work hard. They're going to have to play a lot of defense. Get up and out, Z. Z, get in him, Z. I think they can beat Orange. I think they can get a good start to the season. I really do. 
stop, stop, stop. Yo, come on, man. I just want you to think for yourself. That's all I want you to do. My first impression of Coach was as a high school player back in the mid 80s. Yo, y'all, it, it's evident that y'all ain't know the play. You should be paying attention. But he was always pretty nimble on his feet. He was a tremendous rebounder, and he scored. But also knew his game and was passionate about his game. Come on, box him out. How you getting the rebound? How you getting the rebound? Coach was crazy with these kids all year long. They know him. He's part of the fabric here. Well, I got it. I got that. Well, I want the screw. I got the screw. Do you bring a fresh perspective, a guy like Jay, who is just, the minute he, he sits and talks to you, you're engaged with him. Everybody talk. Communicate to each other. You guys ready? Here's one rule. You have to yell the person's name you pass the ball to. Does everybody know each other's name? The minute he opens his mouth, he knows what he's talking about. Absolutely. I better listen. Let's go. Communicate. Who has the ball out? Uh-uh. Does it count? Does it count? He didn't yell Bruce's name. Same group. Yo, if you're, if you're in the middle, it sucks, and that's OK. Own it. He knows the game so well, he played it at the highest level. He can break it down and go, you're doing this one. You're doing this. You got to step over here. Hey, come here. You ain't that tired. You see what happens when you guys get tired? Everybody points fingers. Your fault. It's your fault. You ain't catching the ball. Come together, y'all. Look at each other. Hey, it's all right. People mess up, right? Figure it out. Come together. Say it's going to be all right. And to get on the same page. Y'all going to come together? Y'all going to even look at each other? That's the difference between a winning and a losing team. And I think it can make a profound difference on them, especially since there's so many young guys. They're still learning. They're still you malleable. Make it. One dribble, Z. Next group. My thing is, I just want to be able to add to the equation. I feel like I have so much that I have. There you go. Yeah, yeah, dunk down. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I didn't know, I didn't know Zach. Right? Yo, that kid, wow. Yo, Z, come here. How big are your hands, yo? Like, that dude is like major D1 talent, and he doesn't even know it. He does not even know it yet. He's a sophomore, he's 6'3". And he has like a 6'8 wingspan. His hands are almost two times the size of mine. That's special. Are they ready? No. What do you mean? They're not, I mean, what, they've had two weeks of practice? They're not, I mean, you're never really ready. You can't really be ready until you go through some adversity. You know, I think those moments teach you how to become ready. And it's not until you have that experience collectively, until you recognize what that preparation needs to be. For these kids, how you get hit in the mouth, how you respond to that. game of the season. I don't know what team going to show up, you know, so hopefully we get settled in, fill the crowd. You know, first game of the season, so it's going to be jitters for everybody. I, I, get, yeah, I get nervous before big games like this. I get, I feel I get a little jitters, but in my head I keep thinking, like, boy, we're going to win. I don't like saying we're going to lose. I like saying we're going to win. I don't like that one team. We're missing Shaquan Clark. Uh, old injury that he had last year has come back. Man, my leg, bro, my shit, my joint just acting up, bro. I'm mad too that I can't play, bro. I've been waiting two years. So we're missing uh, a starter, uh, Jihad Evans. You know, we just found out he was ineligible about a week ago, but he's our best on ball defender. I was slacking last year's third or fourth cycle, and it backed up on me. I can't play until February. It's, it's going to get to me because it's the first game. I've been waiting for it too, but I just got to help my team out, practice, and just wait till I come back to play. I know my team, man. I know we come out there and play the way we play at practice. Tornado, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't going to be able to keep up. To me, Orange is ass.
Jersey. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Samsel. Great to have you along with us. A huge rivalry tonight as it's Orange taking on Central to start the 2017-18 season. What's your city like? What's your city like? We're doing this for Hardy. He can't play. Quan Quan, Kane. We're doing this for all the doubters, all the people that said we can't do nothing. We ain't going nowhere. All play your bro. game, yo. All we got. Yeah. 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 All we got three. One, two, three. All we got. Let's go. We out here. We are underway as it's controlled by Central. Joel Azoka, trouble with the dribble, able to recounter, drives baseline, pulls up with a fadeaway jumper, and air balls it. The crowd letting him have it. Jock steps around the defender, drives in high off the glass, and good with the layup. Deanne McCray, jab steps on the right wing. A long three, and another air ball for Central. There you go. Jock splits a double team, puts up a floater, and hits. Zyreek Nutter on the right elbow, past the Brill, off his foot and out of bounds. A tough start for Central. Oh, y'all gotta settle down, man. The end underneath, kicks it back out to Zyreek Nutter, splits the double team, and finishes with the right hand. There you go, Zyreek. Go, shot ball! Goldville penetrates for Orange up with a lefty layup. Nigga, tired as hell. We played six, five, three minutes. Deep left wing, it's Brill, tries to split a double team, poked away, out of bounds, and it'll be Orange basketball. Oh, time out, man, time out, time out. Yo, what kind of class is that? Yo, they doing what the f they want to do, man. Soon as from the gate, we rushing. We first two shots, we ain't called nothing. We just went to the basket. That ain't how we play. First play, three scrimmages been what? So why they ain't it today? Back off him, he ain't make one shot yet. He wants to drive every time. All right, calm down, settle into the game. D, D, drive, get to the line. It's a long game. Jacques at the top of the key. Tipped and stolen. DN down court to Zyreek, throws down the one-hand jam. What a start to the season for the sophomore. Let's go! Let's go! Some signs of life here from Central. Blackman. Drives in and throws down a thunderous slam. How's that for an answer from Orange? DN gets stripped. Near the midcourt circle, Joel saves it to David French. Block! Left wing, blocked by Blackman. Another block. Orange is making life in the paint very difficult for Central. Serious, man. Hey, go do, do, do. I want a three ball. I want a three ball. A couple of seconds to play here in the first half. The end. He's got to get it off. I don't think he knows how much time is left. A wasted opportunity, and Central will go to halftime trailing. Oh, you got to look at the clock. You got to look at the clock, man. Yo, you gave him at least 24 points. They ain't earned nothing, man. Same shit we talk about in practice. No f help D. These booty ass guards going down the middle. These motherfuckers ain't shit. Get in the game. One more killer. Hit this motherfucker and get him out the paint. How the f does he keep flying in there getting a rebound? And nobody don't put a body on him. Not one of y'all. I told you if we play D, they don't score. We ain't playing D, so they got 36 points. Who's the one shooter on the floor? Five. That, uh, that's the only shooter on the floor, right? That's made some shots. What else do they do? How, how hard is that? You got a driver, a shooter, an offensive rebound. If y'all do those three things, you win the game by 20. Shit is all hard, man. It's all hard. It's that easy. This shit ain't hard. About midway through the second half, and Central has fought their way back into this game behind their sophomore number two, Zyreek Nutter, who's really stepped up tonight. Brill gives it off to Joel, right wing, penetrates off to Zyreek, into the paint, able to finish through contact. Kicks the bucket in the foul, a chance for a three-point play. 
What a second half we've had here at Orange. Hey, one stop, one stop. Jocks to Goldville. Yeah, Lob underneath, tipped away from Blackman and stolen. Tyreek into the lane. Oh, and he hit the ground hard. Some concerned faces on Central fans as the sophomore remains down. Can't wait to watch another episode of Best Shot? Subscribe to YouTube Premium right now and watch the entire series. Rich folks keep stacks with the get close. Yeah, the one is broke, man, caught up with the dope, man. Yeah, they keep us low like the seagull. Uh-oh, I ain't working hard, no play play. Okay, I'm asleep on my payday. One day to my mom.